Well, that's right. So some areas saw little sunshine today, which means not much melted. And this comes as the third, yes, third winter storm is expected to arrive tonight. Now, RDOT District 10 engineer Brad Smithy says they'll be monitoring the system as it arrives in Northeast Arkansas. All crews just staying on shift uh, and, and being around for tonight and, and prepared for whatever happens. And so we, you know, we don't know what that's going to bring, but uh, we, we do know that tonight's going to be another version of it. So the system, which will arrive tonight, is expected to move out by early Thursday morning with residents bracing once again for more ice, freezing rain and sleet. Cabin fever is leaving one man to drive around town this afternoon after hitting several icy patches earlier this week. This is not fun to scrape all this ice off the car. It's a lot of work. here in downtown Jonesboro. And as you can see, the roads are still a little slick. I am on Main Street and it is actually very clear. There's not really any ice here on Main Street in downtown Jonesboro, but just off Main Street, off Union Street, like on South Madison, I was coming in on four wheel drive and actually spun out a little bit. So it's still very icy here in downtown. Smithy said roads in Paragold were improving this afternoon thanks to snow plows and the sun poking through the clouds. While in some areas, others aren't as lucky. Highway 1 is still very covered. It's very cloudy down here. It's uh, 27 degrees, so it's not changing very much right now. For sections like that, I, I don't know how much we're going to get to do today. We're going to work on them. You know, we're going to see a little bit of everything today. The RDA engineer stressed the importance of having patience if you hit the road. Top of the frozen hard surface pack of ice and snow, uh, where that melting is occurring, that is probably the most dangerous spot you'll drive on today because you know, you've got water on ice and that makes for very, very slick conditions. I've seen drivers today that are just tired of going slow and they're, they're going out into you know, bad lanes and making bad choices and going too fast and that's going to cause some trouble. Now, Smithy did want to applaud the RDOT crews working around the clock this week. He says they're working tirelessly and will continue to do so until the roads and streets are clear. Now, stay tuned to KJMB, Fox and CBS Facebook pages tonight as we will bring you updates throughout the evening. Sarah Doe, Northeast Arkansas News, Jonesboro.